York Progressive Congress APC has fingered a Northwest governor as the mastermind of the spate of banditry and kidnappings in the Northwest state in the country. Acting Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the party, Yekini Nabena, made the allegation in a statement he issued on Thursday. While he was silent on the particular Northwest governor, Nabina claimed that an intelligence report linked the said governor to, be, to the heightened cases of banditry, abductions, and other violent crimes in the zone. Nabina further accused the PDP of attempt to make political gains from the spate of insecurity in the country. He said the protest organized by the PDP was unnecessary. The statement read in part, as security agencies have intelligence reports linking one of the Northwest governors of colluding and sponsoring the violence and criminal activities of bandits in the zone, I won't give details because of the sensitive and security nature of the issue. However, relevant security agencies must, as a matter of urgency, investigate the report and determine its veracity. Human life is not what we should play political chess games with. We must shun enemies of the country, including the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who seek political gains from issues of insecurity. Our security agencies must also be alert to plots to further destabilize the Northwest region and frustrate the quick and safe release of students abducted in Kankara, Kastina states. Hmm. You can imagine, they are just trying to distract people. You said uh, intelligence gathering, intelligence reports. Why can't you go for the person? Why can't you go after the person? No, you say because of the sensitivity of the issue. That is why you don't want to mention the person's name. Why come in, in the first place to talk about it? Why can't you do what you need to do and, and get the person? Let them get the person and the person will not be able to deny it. He said one of the governors. He said one of the governors because I don't think uh, the person is a former governor. He said one of the not uh, not west governors uh -huh. because it's not a, a former governor that means it's still present you know it's still it's still serving or you see in government as we speak you see how they do things the same way police will tell you that uh, they will arrest you it's only when they arrest finish arresting you they will not start doing investigation is that how they do things I don't know. It's, it's just a deliberate. These guys, this set of people, this set of leaders, they are so wicked. And the foundation of the country is wicked. It's faulty because, you know what? As other people are coming in, the system is already rotten. So it's like they are still going to be falling into the same trap. They are going to be doing the same thing. In as much it's going to be favoring them, they are going to be gaining and going to be benefiting. You know, their selfish interest will be met. They don't care. So the system is just rotten. As we speak, even in this uh, 21st century, you arrest person before you start your investigation. Is that how it's being done? I listened to one EFCC man one day, and they were asking him, why is it that you guys, you know, you say you get reports about somebody, and you take the person, you begin to maltreat the person, you begin to force words out of the person. You, that is where you now begin to check the person's laptop, you check all this and that. These are the things you are supposed to have done before going to arrest the person. By the time you show the person evidence, the person will have no choice than to even accept that, oh yes, because he will not be able to argue or deny it. Now you say one of the governors. So they are just knowing one of the governors. And meanwhile, the other day, the Nigeria Army telling us that hey, it is the international community that are sponsoring these people. You can imagine that they don't have what to say. Now, thank God, it's not even saying that it is the PDP. Not really thank God, because they are always, you know, any whatever that is happening, the problem that is happening, it's always on PDP. Uh, in as much, we know that they are, they are brothers and sisters, you know, to so a very large extent. It's not saying that it is the PDP that is causing it to whichever way but he's not saying that a hey, pdp wants to use it as an opportunity just the same way you guys did this it's the same thing you did the same thing in 2014 you did the same thing and we thought that hey, you have what it takes to do the right thing but see what we are seeing now the embarrassment even the president is causing everybody is just too much you guys are embarrassing yourselves you know the person this the other day they will tell you it is a the monarchs they will tell you it is the opposition they will tell you it is, the, it is they will tell you it is the community people that are working in hand with them with these uh, boko people and by the time you catch up them you arrest this uh, so-called bandits or what do you call them you begin to give them 
you know, you tell them that you have, they have repented. They will tell you that you will tell, you will tell us, not that they will tell us. You will tell us that they have repented, so you need to reintegrate them back or you will recruit them back into the Nigerian army. Is that how they do things? You say you know the person, your intelligence, whatever. If really you guys are sensible, because that is just the way it is. If really you are sensible, you just you don't have to come and be telling us that you know. So what do you want Nigerians to do now? I don't know what does this man, what does he want these APC people? What do you want Nigerians to do? You just tell us, then we start clapping. Oh, hey, yeah, good, that's good, that's good. They've seen the person. So when are you going to uh, arrest the person? You now said they should go and do investigation. You say there's a there's a governor that is being linked. You now say you want to go and do investigation so that Nigerians will be waiting. You will see tell that he do an investigation. All in the bid just to not to blame them. That is just the meaning of this whole, whole nonsense. For Nigerians not to blame them. For Nigerians not to blame them. That's why they are trying to divert attention. Of course, the other thing is just there because the incompetence is just smelling all over the place. You can imagine. Mr. Man, you must get fat correct. Your fat, you have to get it correct. We have seen Northwest governors kindly tell Nigerians the name of the governor or the state. If not, you should remain silent. He doesn't know anything. They are just, they don't know what they are talking about. They just want to divert attention so Nigerians will clap for them. So you are just discovering now. Or does it mean that the governor is just starting, he just started the business of sponsoring these so-called bandits or Boko Haram? Did it just start now? The person has been there since uh, 2015 when you came in. Or the person was there before you came in. Or you just started. I don't know. And now you are, you are not discovering. Be brave. Be bold. And tell us the name. And shame the Northwest governor. Please. The time for fear is gone. Name that heartless be so we can jointly deal with him. Really? <laughs> you know the person. But you cannot go and freeze the person's accounts. Because they will tell you the person is under immunity. You know, that's why I, I ask in the first place whether the person, the governor is a former governor. Of course, immunity will not be covering that person. But since it's the, it's the uh, present governor, because he didn't say former, meaning they will tell you that uh, he's under immunity. Just to distract Nigerians, they don't, have, they don't know what they're talking about. When will you have sense of reasoning? Face what is on ground. <laughs> they won't until they wreck, they wreck more havoc. Now, Bena, leave PDP alone and let APC government face the problems on ground. Uh, of course, now uh, PDP wants to use the opportunity, but Tango even agreed that uh, there's a problem, that there are problems on ground. Whether there's a problem, whether there are problems, but we know that there's problem, then tackle the problem just like somebody has advised you. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you.